What's up, guys? It's me, your pet is here, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay, so first and foremost, I hope you guys enjoy that little surprise I gave you a few days back, and that is Pokemon Stadium 2. And, uh, well, right here, right now, we are going to be continuing our adventure right here into the Gym Leader Castle, and, well, in our last episode, we managed to defeat four Gym Leaders... All the way up to Erica, and now we're going to be going up against Koga. Now, if there's something that I know about Koga right here, is that his gym is not normally a poison type gym, especially in Generation One. Generation One, he has a lot of what was it, psychic type Pokemon with poison type in case of capabilities or something like that. So we're going to have to go with the big guns right here because, of course, he has three guys right here: Biker, Tamer, Juggler, and himself. And well. We're going to have to use a nice set of Pokemon that will actually get us through this whole thing. And I mean the right set. So we're going to start off with Sparky right here. We're going to choose him. Ultra Psycho. Ultra Psycho, of course, is a must because, yes, his power is unlimited. And, well, let's see. We're going to have to look through our... Well, we're going to have to look through our, our thing right here. And, uh, well, it would seem that we're going to be using Thrasher. And... Hold on, just a sec. Let's see. I kind of want to use Tank right here for this one right here. And we have to use another guy that will actually, you know, back us up when it comes to this. Because we are going to be taking some, uh, taking on, on some Psychic type Pokemon right here. And it, look like, it looks like to me that we're going to have to go... Let's see, let's see. Maybe we can go right here. We can go use Don Godzilla. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so... Nessie, Nessie has everything covered right here. Godzilla. Let's go ahead and use him. And I want to use one more Pokemon here that will actually help us out. And it looks like to me it's going to be... Well, let's see. I could use Smasher, but it doesn't have any ground type moves. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, let's see. Let's go back again. And take a look at Thrasher. Thrasher does have Earthquake, so we're going to take him. Tank number two does have, uh, yeah. He does. The only problem with this guy is that he is not speedy enough, so we're going to go with him. So we got two more Pokemon that we need to get, and of course, Godzilla is one of them. And let's see, what does this guy have to do with everything? No, nothing. Nothing right there. So let's see. You know, if I could just level up Patrick, that would be the the best water type Pokemon to go to, but too lazy to do that right now. So, let's go right ahead and use this guy right here. Okay. So, here we go again, guys. We're going to be going up against the Fuchsia City Gym. And look at that. He does have a lot of poison type Pokemon. So... Let's go with Ultra Psycho. Godzilla has got to be in this one. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. If I was a betting man. Let's go with Poliswag. Okay, so, here we go, guys. Another battle in the Pokemon Stadium. And we're going to start off with Ultra Psycho, the MVP of this whole thing right here. And we're going up against a Tentacool. Not so much powerful, but still a Poison-type Pokemon right now. Now, let's see. If memory serves me correctly, in the game, Generation One games, uh, yeah, the the the, the Fuchsia City Gym pretty much uses a lot of Psychic type Pokemon that have Poison type moves like Poison Gas, all that stuff. Hell, they even use Ground type Pokemon that know Poison type moves. And good gravy! All right, so let's see. We can we can take this as an advantage right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon right now. So let's go right ahead and switch out, switch out uh, Ultra Psycho right here for Poliswag because it does have a weakness and that is to Ultra Psycho. So if we can get this right here, of course, Ditto will transform into Poliswag, which look at that, it is now Poliswag. So that right there will give us an advantage. Let's go right ahead and actually. You know what? Let's go ahead and use a Psychic Attack. Uh, sacrifice our Poliswag just in case. Of course, Dio's a little faster than us, but he's going to be using a body or... Yeah, he's going to be using a Submission, I believe that's what it is. So here we go, Psychic Attack. And that is super effective right there. 
Now, I would rather, I would rather have this Ditto just, you know, transform to my Poliswag than, than uh, whatchamacallit, than, than uh, Ultra Sago, because as we all know, Ultra Sago, it is completely broken in this game, especially in Generation 1 games right here, so look at that, it actually worked out for the best right here, and now, we're gonna be taking on another person right here, I don't even know who it is, and here he comes out with a coughing, look at this guy. And uh, he is spewing out just uh, some poison stuff. So here we go, psychic attack for my poly swag. Let's get this. Flex your muscles right here, your mental muscles. And that is super effective, but not quite effective as like our ultra psycho. And this guy right here was going to be using sludge, and this will not poison us, think thankfully. And uh, well. Let's go right ahead and use another Psychic Attack just to beat this guy down. And here we go, Psychic Attack for the win. Say goodbye to Cuffing. Alrighty. I'm feeling good about myself right here. Okay, so that right there gets us the victory. And I believe this is Polly Swag's first appearance in Pokemon Stadium. I don't think I even used him in the last one. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a victory. That moves us closer to Koga right here. Knowing Tamers, they're probably going to be going with some exotic Pokemon right here. They're basically Pokemon poachers in here. So, here we go, Tamer. Coming with... Oh, crud. A nice... Okay, so... The common denominator in this one... Good gravy, so he's going to... Okay, so let's go right ahead and do this. We're going to have to use the same team right here. Just for this situation. Oh god. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go with Godzilla Godzilla. And here he comes out with a Scyther. Now we all know that Scyther's a little bit quick, but we do have an advantage with a fire attack right here. So here comes a slash attack. We should be careful with this one right here because it does have a very, very, very high attack. And here we go, flamethrower. Super effective. And that takes out Scyther. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I do love, I do love this announcer right here. He's just like pumping me up and everything. So, there we go. Godzilla, Godzilla doing stuff, and he's coming out with a Macho. Okay, alrighty. So everything's going out to plan right here. So let's go ahead and uh, be fast ourselves and fly, fly like the wind here. That's right. You can't hit us, buddy. So here comes a karate chop to nothing. What now? That usually... Well, that, that pretty much looks like a knuckle sandwich right there. So here we go. Let's get this fly attack. To infinity and beyond. And... Yes, Machoke survives right here. So he's going to be coming out with another karate chop. And that one is a cri critical hit. So we got one more hit to get this guy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fly yet again. Because we are awesome like that. So here we go. Fly attack. Let's get it, and here comes another Karate Chop, not for the win. Mm -mm. No sir, okay, so here we go. Let's get this Fly Attack right here. Fly Attack does its thing, and super effective, yes sir, Macho has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. There's a difference in the number of Pokemon. Okay, so who is the next challenger? And here we have an Ivysaur. Yes. Okay, so the most we got is one attack, but we're going to be using it. And here it is, a flamethrower attack for the win. And wow, Ivysaur has survived. So here he comes with the uh, Razor Leaf. Not going to be effective. And it was a critical hit, but it doesn't deter our Godzilla Godzilla right here. So here we go. Flamethrower attack for the win. Let's get it. Say goodbye to Ivysaur. So there we go, guys. A clean sweep. Godzilla style. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. So two battles in. Two victories. There we go. We still haven't had any Pokemon fainted on us. And bam. So I think this is going to be the dream team right here. Godzilla, Ultra Psycho, and Polyswag. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to the next one. 
Now this, the third one is always the toughest one. They usually come out with some messed up kind of situation. And as you can see right here, he's got psychic type Pokemon. So our best bet against psychic types is to go physical, especially when this guy has a Kadabra and a Slowbro. Okay, so the logical thing to do is to go physical on him. So we're going to go with Godzilla. Keep Sparky on standby, and we're going to take a gamble with tank number two right here. Now, in generation one, remember, there is no sp uh, split physical uh, sp or special physical split. And as you can see right here, psychic types are the most broken Pokemon, and we're going to have to go very, very physical on them. So let's go with the slash attack. This will probably give us a, uh, a critical hit, and this guy goes first, of course, taking a few uh, points out of his HP. Here comes a slash attack. The, yup, the substitute has broken. And now we know that Kadabra's a little faster than Godzilla right here, so here comes another substitute attack. And little by little, he's chopping off his HP. And there we go again with another critical hit. It broke. So at some point in time, this guy is going to have to attack us. And no, he is killing himself with substitutes. So we're just going to keep on chopping away slash attacks. And I don't think this guy has enough HP for anything. Maybe he's going to be going for like a recover. Probably. I don't even know. So let's go with the recover. Okay, so this recovers his HP right here. So now we got a good chance to actually hit him pretty hard. And it is a critical hit. Say goodbye to Kadabra. Throwing his spoon away. Okay, alrighty. So, yes, again, we're going to have to go with physical attacks if we're taking on some of these psychic type Pokemon right here. And this guy comes out with a Hypno. Now, be aware that Hypno does have poison gas or is capable of using poison gas. So, just. You know, hit it physically and all that stuff, but it is pretty good that we're actually faster than this guy, and it is a critical hit right here. And here comes a mimic attack, and he's gonna be learning fly. Okay, so I thought that you could actually mimic the last attack that you could use. Okay, so now let's go with the slash attack. Hopefully, this guy doesn't go with like a fly attack right here. So here we go, slash attack, another critical hit that takes a huge chunk, and well. He is literally flying. Okay, so two could play at that game. Let's go ahead and fly since this guy is up in the sky right here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that's how you defeat that. And, well, here comes Hypno with his fly attack. Misses, and here comes the fly attack onto your candy ass right here. So here we go. Godzilla, Godzilla, fly attack. And there we go. Say goodbye to Hypno. Oh yeah, he did not like that. Okay, alrighty. Yeah, the announcer is the best thing right here. So now, he's got one more Pokemon, and he's got himself an Abra, and well... Yeah, he, he made... <laughs> this guy has made some questionable choices. So, let's go ahead and, uh, well, kill him with the substitutes again. I can't believe the Abra line is faster than my Pokemon. What the hell? And there is a critical hit right there, so there takes away the substitute. So let's go right ahead and do another slash attack. And well, he's gonna, well, just like his, you know, just like his evolutionary form, he's gonna kill himself with substitutes. There we go, and then recover, and then us just destroying him. So let's go right ahead and use another slash attack. And, well, there's another substitute. Here's another slash attack. And that has broken. So now he's going to be going with a recover attack, leaving him open for another big, 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 big attack right here. And, what? Oh. Never mind. Huh. So it won't have any HP for this one, so it might recover. Might attack. I don't even know if it knows recover right now. Let's see. Let's go. And here comes a psychic attack. He's drawing first blood right here, and there goes a special, which is okay because that leaves an opening for us. Slash attack for the win. Say goodbye to Abra. Oh, yeah, he did not like that one. And there we go, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign. Wow, that was. Literally, that was three easy battles right there, guys. Three of the easiest battles you'll ever do. And, well, bam. 
we have been awarded another victory right there. Now that gives us the chance to take on the gym leader, Koga. And, well, Koga, he's ready. He's looking at his all cockeyed and everything, and look at this. He's got himself nothing but poison-type Pokemon, so let's see. All right, I think I already know what I'm going to be using for this one. Yeah, buddy, let's do this. All righty. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling great. And here comes Ultra Psycho, and he will be coming out with a wheezing. Okay, so I had a gut feeling this guy was going to be coming out with his, uh, with his pure poison-type Pokemon. So at this point, it's all Kadabra right here, or Alakazam, I should say, because we are faster than him. And here comes a Psychic Attan, and there goes Weezing. Look at that, no survival. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm, uh, I think I'm comfortable right here, kicking butt, taking names. And well, here comes a Venonat, so now we can actually switch our Pokemon right here because I kind of had a feeling, uh, I kind of had a feeling that Koga was going to be using one of his bug type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Godzilla. Not waste Ultra Cycle right here because he might be using Venomoth as well. And well, here comes a Stun Spore, which is fine by me. I'll be paralyzed with Godzilla. It's not like I haven't picked the right Pokemon for this. So let's go right ahead and use a Flamethrower attack. Hopefully, beat this guy. And here comes a Psychic attack. Again, I kind of feel. I kind of feel like, uh, what was it, in Generation 1, there's two Psychic type, po or two Psychic type, of, uh, what was it, gyms rather than one. And that right there, Venonat survives, so let's go ahead and try and go for another Flamethrower attack, and here comes another Psychic attack, and that one hits us pretty good, come on, Godzilla, let's use it, Flamethrower attack for the win, yeah, buddy. Venonet had no chance. Oh yes, oh yes, down and out. Say goodbye to Venonet. So now he's got one more Pokemon right here. Please let it be something that we can finish off quickly. And yes, I was right. He has Venomoth right here. Okay. Let's go flamethrower attack right here. And here comes a Psybeam attack. And that right there will hit us pretty good. Come on, Godzilla. Flamethrower attack for the win! Oh, yes. Okay, so it's gonna take us quite a few because our special is down. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take a few side beams. Maybe this will be the last one. I do not know. And there goes Godzilla. Okay. So, the logical choice will have to be going straight for Ultra Psycho because Thrasher is weak against psychic types. Only had him just for the sole purpose of that. Hey, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, he's gonna come out with a Venomoth or, you know, uh, uh, a pure ground type and all that stuff. So let's go with a Psychic Attack. We're faster than this guy, hopefully. And here it is, Psychic Attack for the win. Eat it. That is the weak spot. Okay. Alrighty. So as you can see, guys. We win yet again. Okay, throwing out that peace sign. I'm feeling happy about myself. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty, so that earns us our fifth badge right here, guys. I thought that we were going to be struggling just a little bit on this one, but it turns out that we're a little, we chose correctly with the team. And, uh, well, the next room is going to be Sabrina. And as many of you guys already know, Sabrina is a pure psychic type Pokemon trainer. You already know the weakness physicality you know because the dark types don't exist right now but in the next episode we will be going up against sabrina and hopefully just hopefully maybe well, we'll probably go, be coming out with some you know new team members and all that stuff too or you know give it to somebody else so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next time